Let's take a quick look at how you can use a powerful feature in FrameMaker called Text Insets. You'll see here that I'm able to select the text at the beginning of what appears to be a paragraph. But notice if I click on Warning that this entire section of text is selected almost as if it's a cross-reference. We'll find that the next paragraph behaves normally, but below there is another warning. And down here we have something called Caution. If I click on it, notice that it also all blocks out. Why is that? Well, this is because these are text insets. Text insets are basically externally referenced text files or externally referenced FrameMaker files, and they behave somewhat like referenced graphics, but they have a lot of flexibility. And we're going to show you a neat trick. Um, you, first of all, I just opened up the pods for insets, and if I click on each instance, they all happen to be on the same page, but you'll see that it will indeed take me to where they're located. In fact, the insets also show you the dest uh, where the documents come from, you know, where their destination is. So let's see how this works. Um, first of all, we're going to take a look at the document that I'm importing these from. This is a simple FrameMaker document, and in it I used my graphic tools to simply create new uh, frames, text frames, and in these text frames they were given a special property. So basically under Customize text frame. Here's a place where the flow is assigned. Now if somebody were designing their master pages and they were manually creating columns, normally flow A would be dis, uh, assigned because flow A is the default flow in FrameMaker that usually has auto connect turned on to create pagination. In this case it just has a unique identity of warning. Let's cancel that. Let's go ahead and select the next text column called caution and see how it was defined. If we go down here to um, if we go down here to um, uh, customize layout, we'll see that this one has got a special unique identification of caution. Now let's see how caution or warning these two names will show up when we want to create a new text inset. I'm going to click my cursor right here where I would like to import a text inset from that document we were just looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and select the file that we were reviewing. And as I bring it up, um, it defaults to choosing something from the body page. And notice that I have to choose a flow. Normally there's only one flow, flow A, but this is different. Remember I created one called warning and one called caution. So I'm going to put a caution right here. Go ahead and say import. And once again, one click on it and it, all instances change. Let's go ahead and create one more up here. I'm just going to go and do one right here. And I'm going to say that I want to file, import, file. We're going to go to that exact same file. And I'm going to this time create um, another caution. Just so I have a couple of those. Okay, so now we have several warnings and several cautions. And it doesn't matter. Uh, how, how many times I do this. Um, I'm, this? This text can appear in different forms. It could be inside of a, a table cell. It could be out in the outer margin, out here. Now, the advantage to, the, to text insets, like why would you use them? First of all, they're much easier to edit and they can contain longer text than you would normally put in something like a cross-reference. Also, if you need to update the file, I can simply go back to the source where it comes from, and I'll go ahead and select a warning, for instance, and I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut to make this all capitals. So notice that the text is now all caps. Okay, let's save that file, and let's go back over to our destination file. Now you can see it has not yet updated, but we can use a command for doing that. If we were to save and open the file, revert to saved, or if I were to update my references, as I'm doing now, Voila, notice that in a matter of moments, everywhere we have warning, wherever it is, the warning has changed to all caps. So this basically allows you to have a, one convenient file, and perhaps you might have a 20 or 30 a caution, warning notices, um, any type of repetitious text at all. It could even be a formatted text that has your contact information. And changing it one side place outside the document will update everywhere throughout your FrameMaker project. And this concludes our brief demonstration.